Hello, um, welcome back to the third part of this tutorial series. I just noticed a quick little problem with this. Basically, I was just went through testing it quickly, and it all does, works fine, and it does what it should do, as in what we coded it to do. However, you may notice that these three all turn red with an error, but this one doesn't. And that is because we check with that, that and that match. Now, currently, because this has nothing in it, that throws the error there, but that also creates a problem here, because if we don't enter anything here, nothing equals nothing, and so those two match. So, what we are going to do is simply check whether that is um, empty or not. So, if we do validate pass 2, I'm just going to do a quick... Um, if... Right, okay, um, and then what we need to do is just copy this and change the text slightly. So if the... There we go. Um... Let's change that to no text entered, and that should be fine. So let's refresh the page. And go here, no text entered. So there we go, that's done what we need it to do. Um, so now we'll carry on with the tutorial as it should be carried on with and we've got one more thing to function to create and then we've got some small checks to do and then that's it done um, for this tutorial so function validate message and here we're going to do if message value dot length is less than say 30 characters because we want it to be fairly large message dot add class error return false oh I've got a mess up here um, right here that should be there and then else it's valid so message dot remove class return true. Um, now that we've done all of this, what we need to do is go up to the top again and we're going to create the on um, key press sort of test. So we're going to do name dot key up validate name. I'm just going to copy all these and change that to key up. Um, just make it look a bit nicer. Um, let's see. Change blurt. Blurt to key up in current selected text. There we go, that's that bit done. And we need to also add it for the message. So message dot key up Okay, other than that, that's us done now I think. What I may do actually I think it's a good idea to do that. Just so we don't get the function sent too many times, we're going to disable the um, send button. So what did we give that an ID of? ID of send. So let's add here. Right, my keyboard's messing up now, this is annoying me, so sorry for any delays and such. Actually, that's not needed for this tutorial, so I'll do that in the next one where I'm also going to send the 
um, details via PHP and Ajax. So I'll leave that for now, save the file and we'll test it just to finish off this tutorial, which is already five minutes long. That's gone quick. Right, okay. So as you can see, if we press that and go out, oh wait, I need to refresh the page actually. Nothing happens there, but these all fail, that's good. There we go, it's failing by doing that. Actually, we should add that on below as well to that. Doesn't make any sense to not have it there. Save the file, refresh the page. There you go, you can see those all fail. Um, but then what we do is if we type in my name um, ooh, that's not good we shouldn't allow it to count spaces I don't think because here what we did was have Alex space to count as five letters so we'll do that also in the next tutorial um, but my, like, do my email address That works. Do a password, which is what, eight characters long. So get passwords. Which is not much. So passwords don't match. No text entered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The passwords do match. And what do I want to tell you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I forgot to put quite a long one on there, didn't I? There we go. So that all works. And then all we need to do now is send the data and the. So thanks for watching this tutorial series. Um, that's all there is to it, really. It's quite simple to do. Um, the JavaScript source code will not be available online, but the HTML will be. So I'll see you soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Powers for the Touch Space and goodbye.